Hi guys, this is a video about dog treats. I've got here pedigree marrow bone. Uh, the dogs love them for some reason. It's like McDonald's. Uh, what kids love in McDonald's. Dogs love these marrow bones. Um, I don't think the list of ingredients is very good, but I use this particular treat when I have to give a certain kind of medi medication that tastes really bad. But what I've been doing I have made my own dog biscuits. I don't have any on hand that I've made right now, so uh, I can't show you those. Maybe I'll make another video later on. But um, I have a dehydrator, and what I started doing is dehydrating some vegetables and some meats to give instead of things that are processed. So I've got white fish here and I just fill up the trays and uh, gets dehydrated overnight. Also do chicken hearts. Um, like this this package is two dollars and something and um, so it's a lot healthier as well as sweet potatoes but I actually cook those a little bit in uh, water and then I dehydrate them. So if you don't have a food uh, dehydrator and you have dogs, you should try it. If you can get, um, you know, you don't need a fancy one. And I've seen some that actually air dry um, that are, you get at Layman's, I think they're called. Actually, I don't know if they sell those anymore. But anyways, this one's electric. I got it at um, Canadian Tire. And uh, it's called Sultan and it's pretty cheap maybe thirty dollars or something like that and it's got I think about five or six trays I've only got three on the go right here um, but it works very quickly um, my sister has one and it takes her I don't know how much it takes her more than a day to dehydrate stuff and this one this machine is cheap and it, it'll do it in like overnight it's done um, sometimes you have to uh, if you got a lot of trays you have to you know take out the bottom ones because those ones obviously get done quicker and um, and then you might have you know at the end of the night you might have like one tray that needs to be dehydrated a little bit more but this is a great way to give your dogs healthy treats and and it's cheaper too like the bag of fish cost four dollars and the chicken hearts were two dollars and the biscuits if you get good biscuits they they can be over ten dollars and when you got a couple of dogs that adds up anyways thanks for watching Okay, this is the dehydrator in action. The worst part about the dehydrator, uh, it's a little bit noisy, but the worst part is the smell. Um, if you can't open your windows, your whole house is going to stink. There is a vent at the top, so you can open the vent to let moisture out, or you can close it. Uh, I keep it closed usually. Um, but I guess depends on who's doing it. But uh, yeah, so okay, it's got uh, five trays on this particular model. The other one that I was talking about is good for homesteaders and that because obviously it doesn't use electricity. Um, and it just dries in the sun, but I, I kind of wonder about, you know, um, if it makes a difference in the bacteria level. Like, there is netting on it, and, I mean, that was the old way to do, to do, to dry stuff. Um, so, I don't know. I tried looking to get one to see, because I'd rather not use electricity if I can. Uh, but I, I, they don't make them anymore. You can still get them, I think, on eBay, but they're charging uh, a fortune for them. Uh, 
anyways, so that's my little video about dehydrating. Um, it's also good to dehydrate fruits and stuff if you're going on a trip or snacks for your children or yourself. And um, you can dehydrate like even like soups and put them in baggies and stuff for uh, people that like to stock up on stuff. Especially at the end of the season, you can dehydrate if you're a gardener and you, you know, you can dehydrate a lot of stuff if you if you don't want to can it. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's just my little P.S. to my video.